And we're basically done. I'm gonna go send these guys up here to go take over some of this. Yeah, we got, we basically got this now. We, it took us a little bit of time, but we, we finally got our butt into gear. And they're not really doing another counterattack, so I'm assuming I'm basically gonna win this now. Uh, yes. And I'll go have these guys right here go and go get the island back that they conquered. I really, I really wish I could sell that island because it's not worth anything to me. It's just, it's just used against me because of that infamy. All right. And now I should start getting taking more score with me. They're probably winning because of defenders occupation, defenders blockade. If I get the defenders occupation away, then that basically counteracts everything. So I'm gonna move my soldiers over here, and we're basically gonna move my soldiers all the way over here. I have an island all the way out there? Really? Huh. That seems kind of pointless. You know, just saying, like, why do I want an island all the way out there? Like, I, I, maybe that's not the point? <laughs> I don't know, but why? I, I, I don't know. I, I just honestly don't know anymore. Okay, so you guys get on the boats. What we'll do is we'll wait right here. You know, to make sure that they don't, like, do anything crafty. You know, we don't want them to do anything sneaky and just, like, kill me. Alright, you guys go right here. And yeah, now we're basically just closing up the British hold over here in these colonies. Oh, man, this is so awesome. <laughs> like, they... We have all the... Ah, oh, come on! Really? Rebels? Rebels? Really? Really? Okay, and Japur needs to be... Neutralize? No, we're adding them to friendly. Alright, how's that going? Going pretty good. We are still fighting the British almost everywhere. The British have sent a force to come and fight me? Question mark? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish with that 3,000 army, but it's obviously not conquest because that's just not enough. That's a good thing about India, is that I'm at the point now that the only people that could really take me on are the Russians. Because I'm just way too good. Like, legitly, the only people that can take me on now are the Russians, because I know how to fight. And since the British are not using my soldiers, to, you know, to keep replenishing themselves. Mm, this is basically advantage me and them not advantage anything. And I'm gonna have to, you know, actually, I'm gonna have you guys go down here to go make sure these rebels don't do anything stupid. Like, actually get themselves out of the situation that they're in. Okay, let's see. And how are we doing over here? We destroyed that army again. And what I'm gonna do is, since there's no one on these islands, I think what I'm gonna do is go over here, conquer back these islands. And at that point, we should be starting to win war score. Because there's just so much we can win for war score. I mean, we still got an entire coast of the British to deal with. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, see, like, an entire coast. A coast. Right. We got our island back. It's always important to get this island that's the most annoying out of them all. Um, you guys finish up the conquest of that. And now we're almost to Singapore again. Poor, poor Singapore. Twice we've gotten to conquer with this. Twice. Twice we've gotten to war with the British too. Alright. Now you guys go through here. Alright. Now you guys get inside here. We're gonna send to the next island. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Uh... 21st, can I get away in time? Uh, I don't think I can. So... Get away. Yeah, we're dead. That's why I'm trying to evacuate. Evacuate! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Come on guys, you guys can do it. You guys can do it, I believe in you. I believe! Why is my influence just so dang low? All right. I want you guys to focus in on on these guys, because if I could annex them, they'd be really good help. 
Okay, I saved my, I saved my, uh, I saved my, uh, people, so, or my army, so I'm, I'm happy. Over here, we basically wiped out the rest of those guys. We have all of Malaysia and Indonesia underneath our control. Yeah, this isn't looking too good for them anymore, is it? I mean, the only thing that they have positive is the fact that they own this island, which I'm hoping to get back in a second. But that really scared me, so I'm not even gonna try. Um, gonna have to build some new. Uh, yeah. Whew. Bye, jingoism. Okay, let's just get back into here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna keep like two men on here on the island at constant times. Um, we lost two ships. Oh, more than that. All right, what I'm gonna do is just once those guys leave, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go out to sea, and we're gonna go take out back my island. Cause that is my island. All right, let's go, 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 go. And I probably will send these guys back home. Actually, now that I think about it, because you know what, I don't want anyone on these islands. I wish I could sell these islands for like a couple good pennies, because they're honestly useless to me. They're like ones in Monopoly. They're almost completely useless. Unless you want to be a cheapskate, they're almost useless. Okay, they haven't sent another force to come attack me, which is good. I have like a couple of armies. Oh, there's Dutch. They're the Dutchies. I'm gonna go send this army down here to go make sure that this they die. I mean, I'm not even fully deployed, which is the funny part. Like, the, the all-time most humiliating thing is I'm not even fully deployed. I'm beating these guys because I'm just that awesome. Okay, and then these guys... Okay, I'm going to bring these guys home first. I'm going to send these guys over here. And the Dutch should not have much more of an army. This should... Like, in all honesty, this should be the last of the army. Yeah, this is the last of the army. So once this is all gone, then the... Yeah, this is mostly made up of reserves, so... Yeah, that basically just crushed all resistance right there. Sad, sad times for them. Combat width. Mm. Let's get some more... More effective taxes, yes. Uh, taxes, taxes, taxes for the rich, taxes for the poor. Yes. Great times we live in. Uh... I don't really like any of those ideas. Alright, let's go right here. And anything else? No. Alright, so yeah, we basically got the war in the bag. Another war we won against the British. And how much would it cost to, like, disadd from Sphere? Humiliate. Police puppet would cost. Alright. It's not only we need to do that, we need to whip from the sphere. Take from the sphere of influence. Oh, uh, we'd have to literally whip them out and then whip that. Uh, that that just takes too long. So yeah, the only w the quickest way to do this is probably just to do infamy fighting. That's kind of sad, but it's the only way I can think of. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna hang out on this island. Probably just gonna keep those two armies down there and just make some new armies up here so I can do stuff but yeah give it a little bit okay you guys get on the boats let's go right here enjoy alright yeah we basically have friendly relationships with all these guys so they have to keep an on constant guard I really want this though discredited discredited now we have to go right here sorry whoops and now we have most of this, so now we should start getting taking war score. Yep, taking war score. And now since we won some of the battles back, we don't even have to get battle reduction. Yay! And get this over here. Oh my goodness. Die. Die, you infernal scum. Okay, yeah, so now, now. We could actually go try for an invasion of the British over here. I'm not sure how effective that would be, though. I'm not even sure if I really want to, either. We can actually, uh... 
Oh shoot, we might actually start taking mo money woes. So I'm going to start like decreasing our economy, lessening the, lessening the tensions. Because we actually don't need our forces at full anymore. Because now it's just a waiting game until the British want to say they give up. I mean, we honestly could be trying stuff right now. But actually, let's go. Let's just go invade the rest of the Netherlands places over here. That way they have absolutely nothing. <laughs> and maybe it'll like break off and become a big gigantic revolt, which would be awesome. Which I don't even know why the Netherlands and the Dutch are even friends, because they shouldn't be. They honestly should not be friends. Because, I mean, the British took the Isles from them. Took this little place over here, which is full of good secret police to rescue. <laughs> oh, don't you just love the secret police, everyone? Okay, so yeah. I don't, know, I don't know why they're friends, but apparently they're friends. Doesn't make any sense to me. They're friends. And I'm 888 across the board, but I'm 7th place. I love that. <laughs> That's so, like, humiliating. Like, I'm, 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 I'm 888 across the board, and yeah, I'm 7. Just 7. Okay. Let's go right here. We're just going to take over all these islands now. I'm pretty sure I'm the dominant power in this region and I don't think they have enough to come over here and beat me up so let's just start taking over everything everything <laughs> my economy is doing exponentially well we aren't quite at the point of a thousand not gonna deny we're not quite at that point but we're definitely trudging through I mean yeah let me just like organize okay. wow did I transfer governments? Did I become laissez-faire? No, I'm still- Oh, no, I know why. I don't have enough money. That's why. Oh, and apparently we now have great wars. Okay, you know what? That's what I'll do. Is when a great war comes around, I'll let myself with, like, Austria, and then we'll go to war, and then we'll take back all my land. That's what I'll do. Okay, yeah, these rebels are starting to annoy me. These Javanese rebels are really starting to annoy me. Like seriously, why are they not just dying? Okay, but I am getting some blockade bonus. Yes, blockade bonus. Yes. Okay. And yeah, just you guys just keep going on. Keep conquering more of the island. Oh my goodness. Ah, they're on my island again. I need to make like an entirely new army down here. Like, and you have two, like, fleets, one over here and one over there. That's what, I'll, that's what I'll start working on, like, after this is done. So you guys just go hunt down all the rebels down there. Ugh. Man, it's amazing. Come on, guys. Admit defeat. You guys basically lost. I mean, I, I don't mean to say that because I'm winning or anything, but you guys basically lost. You guys should give up now. Alright, we need to look at what leads us down to... The resources we need. I know radios, electricity, electrical gear allows. Okay, we need to start taking down here because we want to make sure we're one of the first people to get electrical gears. Because once we start making, oh shoot, did I already beat it? Shoot. Oh no, the automobiles. The automobiles are Germans. The Germans. Oh no, the Germans. Okay, let's move our soldiers over here. And wow, this episode's pretty long this time. Hopefully hopefully I won't have to cut it, but you never know. Sometimes this game's pretty evil. By pretty evil, I mean pretty dang evil. And I've almost won Egypt from everyone, so I'm actually gonna stop focusing on Egypt because I actually did not want it at all. I was just like doing this to see if I could distract the British and it obviously didn't work, so I'm just gonna get off of the them and hopefully I'll start doing what I actually want to do. Uh, you guys go right there, then go right there, then go right there. No, go right there, then go right there, then go right there. That's the path I want you guys to take. And you guys are sitting out here casually, go right here because you guys are only... Actually go pick up these guys. <laughs> Change my mind so quickly. Oh yeah, go pick up these guys so that we can... Right, you know what, Egypt, we'll increase our opinion with you, but we'll never, ever, ever increase our opinion with you guys again. Because I don't really want you guys. But man, we almost own the entire island. So are they going to give up yet? Like, seriously, give up. Give up. 
Uh, you guys will not give up. It's kind of annoying. It's almost like me. Uh, except. Oh yeah, actually I don't give up. <laughs> Even when I'm beat, I don't give up. I'll fight to the very end. Because you know what? At the very end, there still could be a chance I could win. That's one reason why you should never give up, people. Is because at the very end of the day, you could still win it. And if it looks hopeless, you could still win. You guys go right here. And yeah, we're just gonna just keep casually conquering more. Okay, and there's a great war going on. Wow! There's a pretty big war going on right now. Hmm, ah, oh, dang. If I didn't have so much infamy, I would love to go take some land. Let's see, great war. I'm hoping these guys win because then the Russians will be weak, and then maybe I could go to war and go take over Zixim. You know, Zinzing? I'm gonna use that alliance, so let's see. China, would you like an alliance again? Because you just basically blew me off. No. That is not my fault this time. <laughs> That is your fault, because I actually do want alliance. Okay, you guys are finishing up the conquest over there. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to divide this episode, so I don't know when I divide it, but you guys knew why I divided it, and you guys are seeing the after effects of this. Oh, man. And there's a great war going on, which I'm not a part of. I'm kind of sad. And, yeah, these guys are smoking. These guys. Let's see, why is that? Is that because of the border scum? It's probably because of battles. It does look like the French is ultimately triumphant. No, it's, the French is slowly starting to crumble. They have too many fronts, they have to divide the men amongst. I mean, they have a good army, but they probably just don't have the men to keep spreading. And right now, let us forget. Right now, I really do think the British should back out. I mean, seriously, this is like... This is like type grade A stubbornness. I've defeated their entire army. They're basically at two wars right now. Which has got to give them serious war exhaustion, may I add. So... Uh, let's see, would you guys give up? No. Would you give up because it's not really your land? No, you guys are not yet willing to sell out your friends. Okay. When that day comes, please call me. I'll be happy to accept peace. But let me see. Once I conquer this island, I'll go conquer back everything. Uh, let's see. Let's get that supplies. Start taking down this. I'm just gonna take down this a lot. So I need to go get electricity made. Let's see, nothing over here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go get that island again. Again. Ugh, and that island. That island is just not forgeable. I'm gonna stop with this conquest. Go over here. We're gonna go back to that island because we need to go get that island. Right here, and let's go right over here. Man, yeah, now the British are definitely going to be distracted. They're definitely throwing everything at this, and the French are crumbling. They can't deal with this many forces. Kind of expected, though, because I couldn't. I, I'm known for being a French. It's hard fighting a three way front. Just fighting a three way front is hard. Yeah, they're probably going to have to be paying. Oh my goodness. They're probably going to lose. That means the Russian Empire is going to be cut in half. That means. Wait a minute, that means I will probably jump, like, at least one space. Because I know the Russians without their army are not are going to be so bad. But, dang. That means I'll be, like, sixth power in the world. Fifth power in the world in terms of militaristics right now. Which is sad. That's only because most of them are kind of, everyone's kind of dying off. But, fifth power in the world in militaristics. That's not bad. I'm going to have to really work on my uh, economics here in a little bit to really get my power oomphed up so we definitely want to start producing more oh my goodness man okay is there any more java revolutions rebellions no it seems like most of java java stuff has been deferred i'm going to click okay click okay i hope the great war will last a good amount of time because i'm going to need to know how much time do i have until the russians are not weak anymore you know, hopefully, maybe they just, like, get knocked out of great power in this for a second, so then I can just go in and sweep in and go kill all these guys. Oh, because I so want this land. <laughs> uh, I so want that land. So much. I mean, I don't technically need it now. Now that I'll have... Finally? Yes! <gasps> oh, yes! And now I should have a decent amount of... Uh, Sulfide coming towards me. 
So that means I actually don't need to. No, 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 I should be making sulfide now. Hmm. Guess it's still not actually in the province. But anyways, guys, that was awesome. Oh, my goodness. Kind of gave me a little bit of a headache at the end, I won't deny. But we made it. So let's see. Where's the most places? Right here. Uh, this is South Bagal again. Just extend everything. We have a pretty powerful economy right now, I can only tell you that. Oh my goodness. Oh, we can start building weapons. Ooh. I'm gonna build it over here in, in the central part. Make just a straight out weapons factory. Straight up. Just straight up weapons. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. See you guys next time.